Hi folks, as I know you'll soon realize that this is not live tonight, I'm actually in my study uh, this afternoon. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I've really been wrestling about these Friday nights for quite a while. And there's several reasons why, but today I decided I'd just get everybody here on the campus together in our conference room and talk and share and get some input with them about our ministry here, especially this ministry, the video ministry here on YouTube. And I'm thankful for the counsel I received, I believe it's of the Lord, and we had quite, we had a, quite a rich time for an over an hour or so uh, praying and, and discussing know what the Lord wants us to do and one of the things that I said you know why Lord here we are and we're right in almost the exact middle of a place that we call the Metroplex here in the Dallas Fort Worth area on our west to our west about 15 miles is downtown Fort Worth and to our east it's about the same distance to downtown Dallas we're about 10 minutes away from the DFW Major International Airport. And it's just no coincidence how God placed us here, placed me here actually, and put this property in my hands as a steward for Him. And so Lord, here we are. And of course for a period of time I was over in North Dallas and we had Friday night meetings for, for, for a few years. And people would come from all over. Sometimes van loads would show up on Friday nights. Sometimes uh, a full van load, 12, 14 people would come in. Sometimes out of, out of halfway houses and who knows where. Some would drive 100, 200 miles just for the Friday night meeting of deliverance. And we had some awesome meetings. <laughs> I saw some awesome, awesome manifestations of demons it's unbelievable and if you haven't seen some of that maybe you need to see it I don't know because it's very real and people Christians spirit filled committed Christians do have demons that they need to get rid of and the good news is they can if they want to but I would say if they want to if they're willing to repent humble themselves and take care of anything that might be hindering that and open up and let somebody pray with them until finally they can do it for themselves. So enough said about that. But anyway, the Lord's been telling me that I need to do more here, but not just limited to Friday nights. In fact, uh, this will be our last Friday night for how long, I don't know. But I will be doing videos, as the Lord has said, and I will be saying things that the Lord has been giving me in some cases for years that I've held back on. And as I watch what's going on around here in this buckle of the Bible Belt or whatever, this is a very, very religious area. It's filled up with ministries. Most of the major ministries in the United States have moved here because it's just filled up with people that are willing to give money to ministries and some of them do quite well to the tune of millions of dollars and I'll, I'll not say any more about that right now but what, he, what, what the council seems to be that I continue to do these videos but I will do them as the Lord leads and probably more than one a week and then as I post it you will get notice if, if you if you are one of our our regular people and you will know when they come on uh, our live work is on Saturdays at our at our what we call our love and our webinar on Saturday afternoons at 2 and we welcome anybody to come there and join with us as folks from around the globe not a big groups sometimes uh, 20, 30, sometimes maybe a few more. And and we pray, we talk, we share. It's a rich time and you're welcome to join us. Just go to our website and look look at the top link that says uh, 
uh, <clears throat> keeping in touch or staying in touch. And you'll find the, the link to the Saturday afternoon webinar, which is 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, but on that, uh, I've got so much that I want to share. I've had to repent to the Lord as I began to share last Friday night for holding back many of the things the Lord has shown me. And I've got to confess that I've been concerned about what people think and that it seems radical, but the Lord has confirmed to me that what He's given me is the truth. And uh, I know that I'm accountable to give it whether people agree, believe, or not. So I'm going to begin to do that. And do I keep up with things? Yes, I do keep up with things to the degree, not strongly, but to see what's going on here on YouTube and around other places. You know, what, what I hear the so-called prophets say, I hear the teachers say, I hear from different denominations. I, it's, it's, it's unbelievable what's, what's available. And I know the Lord has allowed this medium for now so the gospel can go out to all the world, every nation, and so forth. But it's more than just sending out the gospel. He said, I want you to make disciples of every nation. Not just preach to them, but make disciples to what? To the kingdom. It's more than the gospel. It's the gospel of the kingdom, the kingdom of God. And of course, the ecclesia is the beginnings of that. And that, again, is an area where there's not really the truth being told about so many things. And so my heart is for that. And there's so much more I could say about this on, on, on this video recording. Uh, but I think for now, that's the announcement. And in the week ahead, in the weeks ahead, there's be, gonna be much more to come. And yes, it will be available on YouTube in most cases, but in some cases, we're going to have a new website in addition to our present website, which is keyministries.org. And uh, that website will require uh, a password because there's going to be teachings I'm going to put on it that are going to be, what can I say, for, for people that really want that kind of teaching and really are ready for that kind of teaching and really won't turn and curse us and come against us as much as possible. Now, I'm not afraid of that. But I also know that Jesus said, don't cast your pearl before the swine. And I could go off on that for quite a while. But not out of fear, not anything. But he said that, that he's got a chosen people. He's got a people that are of the remnant. And these are the ones that he's wanting to prepare just like he had to have a forerunner before Jesus came the first time in John the Baptist. And he's telling me that before he comes again, there needs to be a ministry of preparation, preparing the way for the next coming of the Lord. And it's very soon, very soon. And many of you know that. So I'll let you know more about this. And so stay in contact, and of course we have a mailing list, and so forth. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep you informed about all this. It's uh, I'm, I'm excited. I, we just came out of the meeting about an hour ago, and, and it was really rich, and it was really the Lord, and there'll be so much more to share. But for ton for tonight here, uh, on on this YouTube, uh, I want to put this out to make you aware that that's. The, the program for tonight but there will be much much more to come and and I just believe it's going to be a, a blessing and it's going to be to me so thank you for your faithfulness for your prayers for your love because you know many of you know that I really love you I really care and I'm here and we're here and we've got people that are coming now uh, and of course we have facilities here you can go to our website, keyministries.org, and find out more about us. It's full of stuff about our ministry, and you're welcome to contact us 
the phone number's down here. Where is it? Just oh, it's over here, <laughs> over here. <laughs> See if I can get in front of the camera. Well, anyway, down on your lower right, or you can email us there on the left. And so that's the word for tonight. I hope you, I hope you can receive this, and and I'll, I'm, I promise you, we'll, we'll let you know. Okay, and we love you. And we say peace.